this video, we are going to cover how to create a new Google Analytics property and then how to add that to go high level. First thing that you wanna do is sign into Google Analytics and go to your admin settings and then click on create and then you're gonna click on account. All right, so this new account will be uh, one of my clients. Um, so I'm just gonna put their name in there and uh, you can share data or not. Uh, I'm just saying no to all those. I'll turn them on eventually. Um, okay, property name. Uh, again, I'm gonna put my client's uh, name in there uh, and then choose their time zone. Um, they are on Eastern Standard Time. So uh, we'll pick New York and they do use the US dollar. Let's click on next. Uh, pick their category, so uh you would obviously pick your own category uh, and then how big the business is click on next and um, you can say what you want your business objectives to be uh, in this case we're going to just say examine the user behavior and we're going to create that you all have to accept the google analytics terms of service and okay so now to start collecting data um, you'll choose a platform. This is gonna be basically creating the property. So we're gonna say uh, web and uh, we need to get the website for the property that we're creating. So I'm gonna come into my go high level and grab the homepage here. So going to sites, websites, and I'm uh, gonna grab the URL for the homepage. All right, so let's get that homepage in there and just have it be the straight homepage, get rid of the HTTPS and we'll call this again, um, my client's name um, plus the word website. All right. And uh, you can leave on this enhanced measurements then click create and continue. Okay, so Google created that for us. And now they have code that we can add to the website manually or we can use Google Tag Manager. Um, so for this, we're just gonna install it manually. So click on copy right there go to the website in go high level click on settings in the main part of the website and then you're going to copy that information from google into the head tracking code click save all right so that's there and um, now we are set up for manually adding it uh, like I said, if uh, you wanted to use Google Tag Manager, you could, or you could also use a Google Tag that you already have. But like I said, for Go High Level, it's really, really easy to just copy and paste this and um, throw it onto the site. Um, so you can go to the site, uh, refresh, and now you know that uh, it is on there. So let's go back to analytics, click on test installation. And it says our Google tag was correctly detected on the website. So click confirm. And we are good to go. Um, you probably will see this message. This data collection is inactive for your website. Um, if you install tag more than 48 hours ago, make sure they're set up correctly. Uh, you'll probably see that for the first 48 hours, but then after that, uh, you should be good. And now Google Analytics is set up on your website and it can uh, start to track everything that's going on. Um, visitors, um, how long they're on there, you know, bounce rate, things like that. Uh, so yeah, setting up the Google Analytics tag is pretty easy. All right, a little bit of a bonus add-on to this video. If you go to Google Analytics to the newly created property, um, I'm going to show you how to add people to the property so they can also access it and see the data, make changes, stuff like that. 
Um, so you're going to want to uh, have the property open and then click on your admin settings. Um, and then within those admin settings, um, you're going to click on account access management. And to add somebody, it's really easy. So you're just going to plus uh, hit this plus, click on add users. And I am going to add one of my team members. Uh, make sure that they get that notification by email. Uh, and then you can pick what role you want them to have. Um, so because she is a team member uh, and I'm going to make her an admin uh, because she is good to access everything for this account. So once you select their roles and uh, you can give them data restrictions if you want, uh, you're gonna click on add. And now you can see that uh, all she has to do is accept that and she should be able to sign in and view everything for this newly created Google Analytics account.